Hi, I'm Rebecca from Displaced Housewife, and this week on Splurge, we're going to make beer crust pizza, and we're going to top it with squash blossoms, basil, burrata, um, and I think that's So we start with some light beer. It tastes better in the pizza. Olive oil, sugar, which you could also use honey, some fast-acting yeast, salt, and either bread flour or all-purpose flour. Okay, so for our beer, you want to make sure that the temperature of it is warm to touch. I'll often put it in a sink with hot water for like five to ten minutes. And then this is five teaspoons or two packets. Yeah. So we're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes until it gets foamy and frothy. Uh, whether you're using instant or active, I like to give it 15 minutes just so everything can sort of mingle before I move on to the next step. So the reason that we use beer in this dough is because this isn't one of those doughs that has a lot of time to develop flavor and a light beer gives it this really wonderful nuanced yeasty flavor in the background. I lightly coated the bowl in olive oil and then rotated the dough in it to get it a nice little glistening coat. Um, I'm going to loosely cover the bowl with plastic wrap and set it somewhere warm but not hot for an hour and a half to two hours until it's doubled in size. Okay, so the dough's had a nice one and a half hour-ish rise and then what you're going to do is separate it into six balls and then you're going to kind of, I like to pinch the bottom and make it into a nice tight little ball. <laughs> okay, so when I am shaping my dough and making it into the disc, I like to use gravity to my benefit. I don't throw and toss because I'm just frankly not that skilled. And I just like to toss it around on my hands. All right, so uh, we want to go easy on the toppings. You don't want to put too much sauce or it'll make it soggy. I like to do a layer of cheese, then the toppings, then a little more cheese. Always put your herbs under the cheese so that they don't burn and get too crispy. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I hope you guys love this recipe. Thank you to the Feed Feed for having me. Um, I'll see you guys back in two weeks, and we'll make some really delicious overnight breakfast buns.